So you want to get the journey map mod in Minecraft 1.20.1. Here's how to do it. First things first, you want to go to this link. This is the second link in the description down below. That will take you to our in-depth text guide on getting journey map. If you want to go through things at your own pace, then you can do that using this guide. But once we're here, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download journey map button to go to the official journey map download page. Once you're on the journey map download page, what you want to do is come here and click on the files button on CurseForge. Then you want to scroll down and you want to find the journey map 1.20.1 forge version. There's two ways to do this. It's in the file name there. It's also on the right hand side. As you can see, mod loader is forge, game version is 1.20.1. Come over here on the right hand side, click the three dots and click download file. Journey map will then begin downloading after a few seconds, and whilst doing that, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, we have one-click installation of mod packs. It's super easy to install things like plugins, as well as make other customizations to your server, like the message of the day and stuff like that. And we've got a high-quality, amazing knowledge base to help you out if you have any issues alongside live chat support. On top of all that, it's meant to make things simple with an easy-to-use panel, again, Allowing for mod pack installation, easily managing and accessing your files, and even just a super easy and simple way to understand what resources your server is using and stopping and start starting your server. So now let's go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, a journey map is downloaded. There's one more thing we need to download, and that is Forge. Obviously, we have this in-depth guide on getting Forge here. It covers everything, including troubleshooting, different error codes you have with Forge, all sorts of stuff. But once you're here, you want to go ahead and just click on this Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. On this page, you want to make sure that 1.20 and 1.20.1 is selected. Then come under Download Recommended and click on Installer here. That'll take us off to Add Focus, where stop, don't do anything. Just wait about 10 seconds and put your hands in the air and don't click anything. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. Click on the red skip button in the top right, and then in the bottom left, Forge 1.20.1 will start downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser, but it's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge and 1.20.1 is in the title, which ours is. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is once we've minimized our browser, we want to go to our downloads folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in downloads, and I have this downloads file folder here. And in here, what we will do is find journey map and Forge. Go ahead and drag and drop both of these to your desktop, just because it's easier to use these files there. Then, what we want to do is start off by installing Forge. To do this, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, select Java, and click OK. But Nick, what if I don't have Java? Well, if you don't have Java here, what you want to do is go to the description down below and check out this. This is our in-depth guide on getting Java 17, and this is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Journey Map is a Minecraft mod, but luckily, once you get Java 17, you won't have to get it again, so you can go through this tutorial once, and then you'll be done. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together, but that's not always required, so make sure you first get Java, then get the jar fix. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and again right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all you've got to do is click on Install Client and click OK. This is going to download, install, and basically set everything up to work amazingly with Minecraft 1.20.1. The only reason this won't work is if one, you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods or anything like that. Close out of the Minecraft launcher and close out of Minecraft. Come back and reinstall Forge. And by the way, the second reason this may not work is if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, then reinstall Forge. But as you can see here, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.20.1. Click OK, and this will close. We can now delete Forge from our desktop. Let's go ahead and get Journey Map installed. To do this, open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to play Minecraft using our Forge installation. Most of you will already have a Forge installation ready to go. But if you don't have a Forge installation ready to go, what do you do? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But as you can see, if we click this little drop-down box here, we have this Forge 1.20.1 installation. It says 1.20.1 Forge under it. We're going to click play, click play again. If that's you, just skip forward a little bit in the tutorial. But if it's not you, what do you do? Well, from the Minecraft launcher here, click on installations up at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if we unselect modded, 
Forge disappears, so we check it, there it is, you're good to go. But if you still don't have Forge or the right version of Forge, the 1.20.1 version of Forge, click New Installation. You can name it whatever you want, I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting, because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server with mods, vanilla plugins, anything you want. First thing in the description. But then, after that, we want to click this version drop-down box. Then, we want to select release 1.20.1-Forge. Right here it is for me, you may have to scroll to find yours, but mine's towards the top. Then we want to change our resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game. And then click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile. Most importantly, it has 1.20.1-Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge installed. That's the hard part. The easy part from this point is getting Journey Map installed. I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. To install Journey Map, just click on the Mods button here, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on Mods, and then Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That'll open your Mods folder here, where all you've got to do is take Journey Map from your desktop and drag and drop it into this Mods folder. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, Journey Map won't be here, so we need to click Done and actually quit the game. We then need to open up the Minecraft Launcher again, and then from the Minecraft Launcher, play Minecraft using our Forge installation. Again, that's either the one that was there by default or the one that you created. It doesn't matter which one of those you use. You just have to play Minecraft with your Forge installation and with Forge installed on the installation in order for mods to work. Then from the Minecraft main menu, we can click mods and there it is, journey map. Most importantly, we can jump onto our simple game hosting server. And by the way, this will work on a simple game hosting server. This will work on any Minecraft server. It will work in Minecraft single player. That's what's really cool about journey map. But we can see in the top right, the map is now generating. Things are looking good. Now, my favorite part about journey map though is actually not the mini map in the top right. My favorite part about journey map is if we hit J, it's this. It's the full screen map, which you can see after you hit close. Here it is. As you fly around your world or move around your world, this will generate and you can see your world from a top down view. This is actually a world that uh, we built out quite a long time ago and it would be really cool to be able to compare earlier, right? Let's say I'd open this up and take in a screenshot when we first started this world versus now because this wasn't here. None of this was here. I mean, it's kind of crazy how much has been added, all of this section to this original small village. Amazing what can be changed over time and being able to see a top-down view of your world like this it's really, really cool. So nevertheless, that is how you can add Journey Map to Minecraft 1.20.1. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.